Hello mates, happy new year to all. I am Kiran Jadav here from Fullstack Java Developer Pune. I work as a software architect in Fortune 500 corporates. Today I will walk through the Fullstack Java Developer Roadmap in 2025. What is Fullstack Java Developer? Fullstack Java Developer it means the backend and the frontend and database also we are going to handle within single application. Then backend perspective we are using here Java and the frontend we are using here ReactJS and the database we are using SQL as well as NoSQL. Now we will start with our roadmap here. See the backend side we will start with first here Java. Then in core Java we have important concepts available there like oops concept then exception handling string concept collection framework multi-threading and so on then java have such a biggest releases like java 8 java 11 and 17 those are the stable releases in java coming to advanced java there is j2e java 2 enterprise edition in Enterprise Edition, we have available their JSP, Servlet and JDBC. Then by using Servlet and JSP, we are able to create the web-based applications. And JDBC, it will help us for Java database connectivity. It means our application communicate with the database. Now coming to Editor, VS Code we are going to use for front-end technologies. And the IntelliJ and Eclipse, we are going to use for our back-end Java. Then, Coming to framework, here we have option available like Hibernate. Hibernate it is an RM tool, object relational mapping and this is used for persistence layer. In Hibernate, why it's so popular because it's good feature available there. Then such a feature available like database migration very easy like in one database to another database conversion it's very easy in Hibernate. Then Hibernate itself like we are going to consider it, it will take care of create the table and Hibernate will take care of SQL queries. There is available HQL, Hibernate query language. This is database independent and object oriented. Now coming to next feature, next framework like Spring framework. There is available Spring MUC and Spring Data GPA, Spring Security, Spring Boot. Now that Spring Boot is very popular because all corporates they prefer to Spring Boot. Why? Because Spring Boot itself available such a good features. Inbuilt Tomcat server available there. We don't require the XML configuration. Dev tool dependency available there for live reload application. And within minute we are able to create production ready application. And so number of features like Lumbok dependency available there. It will help us to reduce the boilerplate code. And we are using microservice also. Microservice it means two or more Spring Boot module. They will communicate with each other. For service communication again we have options available there like rest template fin client and web client then nowadays all corporates they are using spring boot and follow the microservice based architecture now coming to database then database perspective we have option available here sql as well as no sql then under sql there is mysql postgres sql server oracle and no sql mongodb mongodb it is a no SQL database. No SQL means non structure query language. Then MongoDB follows the JSON structure like key value pair. Now coming to front end, then front end perspective like HTML5, JavaScript, CSS, Bootstrap, ReactJS, Vue.js also available there, right? Then see HTML5, it is a hypertext markup language. It will help us to create the web pages. And JavaScript, we are able to create functions there and it will help us to behave up our web pages. CSS it will help us to apply the styling there and bootstrap itself small framework available there itself in build classes we are able to use as per our business requirement and react.js it is a javascript library it is used to build reusable UI components and react also such a good features like you can simply consider there JSX available Redux also available there it follows the component based architecture right and virtual DOM also that's why React always gives us the good performance and application goes to very lightweight. The next TypeScript and Vue.js. Vue.js, this is the JavaScript framework. Then coming to our tools. See, tool wise we have option available here GitHub for code control management, version control management, 
then we have option available there Mokito to write the genuine test cases then coming to next we have option available there Apache Kafka for streaming platform and docker it, it is used for containerizing perspective and API testing we have options available Postman API Swagger UI also and there are number of tools available in Java if you want to like code coverage then Jacob also available Sonar Cube also available there and if you want to use log tracing then Splunk also available there now coming to next next is cloud platform then cloud perspective we are going to use here gcp and aws also gcp it means google cloud platform and aws means amazon web services and there are so number of cloud platform available like openshift coming from red hat azure coming from microsoft and so on but popular those are the gcp and aws and once we created the application like front end back end database then we are going to deploy this option on production environments. For that perspective, we have option available here CI CD tool. You can simply consider this is the Jenkins. And those we are going to consider like profiles also, like Spring Profiler, we have option available here, like Dev, QA, Prod environments. Then if you want to go ahead and build the scratch project, then definitely you can join us and start your career in full stack Java development. If you want to see in detail syllabus, then you can simply visit our website here www.fullstackjavadeveloper.in and here you can simply download the browser once you download the browser you can you can open in pdf format here then here also the browser created by myself and this is custom syllabus we have added you can simply follow the syllabus for your learning curve then we'll come up with here also we have added the roadmap for fullstack java developer and in roadmap also we have added everything in detail see this is the roadmap our full stack java developer you can simply follow this roadmap also now here i added the high level tools and technologies in full stack java development now here added the syllabus curriculum like step by step learning curve then we have started with the core java from intro like hello world and then oops concept like everything added in details you can simply follow this syllabus you will get the more idea about full stack java development now coming to next once like this concept is done like core java then here you can start to build the project the project also i added here for your reference you can simply follow the project also and if you need any help feel free to add your comments in our chat box in youtube chat box and coming to next next is advanced java that's called j2w java 2 enterprise edition there is available jdbc servlet and gsp JTBC, Java database connectivity, and by using server JSP, we are able to create the web based applications. Then, once advanced Java is done, you can simply start learning curve for framework. Then, first, you can start with the Hibernate. Hibernate it is an RM tool, object relational mapping, which is used for persistence layer. Then, coming to next, next is Spring framework. And once done with the Spring core, like Spring AOP, Spring MVC, then you can simply come up with the Spring Boot here. All corporates nowadays, if they want to start the project from scratch, they always prefer to use Spring Boot. Then all the banking, whatever fintech app applications, whatever uh, trading applications, telecom domain, healthcare domain, they always prefer to use Spring Boot. They find because Spring Boot itself available good features. Then for Spring Boot perspective also, you can simply follow the starting those step by step concepts and do the implementation and then finally you can simply go ahead and build the project coming to next we have data jpa jdbc template spring security again you can create the project there also in spring security the important concept auth and gwt like token based authentication you can simply consider next mockator framework available there for writing the unit test cases here you can write the unit testing as well as integration testing also. Next we have web services SOAP as well as REST APIs and then design patterns like creational structure and behavioral design patterns. Then MongoDB it is used for NoSQL database and this is very lightweight. Then next is we have available AWS for cloud platform. You can simply follow the cloud platform as well. And corporates they prefer to use AWS mostly by because this is very scalable cloud, cloud platform and very secure. Then we have next learning curve available for microservices. Then 
microservice perspective like you can start to build the application from scratch like two or more spring boot module they are going to communicate with each other and for service communication you have options available like rest template fin client web client then once you build the project there then try to implement the design patterns also for there like saga design patterns available service for db polygon design patterns like different different persistence available you can use the jp repo mongo repo it means sql and no sql as well next sql design patterns available there event driven patterns circuit breaker and api gateway and such a way once you done with your learning curve then go ahead and start to build the product in microservices like this is this level for back end now we'll come up with the next next is front end then front end it means ui user interface then ui technologies html5 javascript css bootstrap and then once it, the basic things is done then you can start the learning curve for react js to build the reusable ui components and react have such a many more features available that's why all corporates they instead of using the angular js mostly they prefer to use react js and once react is done you can start to build the project again on react and then next learning curve you can simply go to the typescript and if you want to add one more there in ui framework perspective ui framework perspective like javascript framework then you can simply go to the Vue js then here either you can go to the react or the Vue js but if you want to like go ahead with like a uh, boom in market then you can simply start to learn Vue js also and this is also very good features like framework comes from javascript this way you can simply follow the curriculum and you can start with the building the projects here i added like in detail whatever advanced industrial tools and technologies you can simply follow those as well and if you want to join our curriculum then simply like here i added the industrial software and intro preparations we have created our book also now this the book also available at our pune office if you want to check the book then see the book also available here i just like uh, i'm just highlighting here the book then this book we have created for interview preparations interview questions and answers then almost i done with the like this road map but till if you have any questions then feel free to ask your questions in comment box and i will give this labs link in our youtube description box as well then thanks for watching this video and please do like share subscribe the channel to get more updates on full stack java development